Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Um, you've all heard me, if you've watched my videos, uh, talk about Taoism and, and, and my essential uh, feeling about Taoism and Tai Chi is that it's about unforced balance and trying to find how um, you or we might be in the way of that unforced balance and um, allowing it to express itself through us rather than fighting it. And so my sort of Taoist motto is, uh, my freestyle Taoist unorthodox motto is, um, flow more, force less. Find the areas where you can flow, find the areas where you can move, be like water, look for the spaces rather than the obstacles. Um, this applies martially, physically, everyday life. It's a good, a good metaphor, I think, and a good simple reminder. Not just be the flow, which is a, a extremely abstract and, 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 and it's a pretty high bar. Flow more, force less. Um, another way to look at this, uh, I've been looking at lately, uh, is um, more and and less or. Meaning the dichotomies in human nature, the splits or, or the perceived splits that we have in our natures. Um, competitive or cooperative good or evil, selfish, generous. Um, I find being a Taoist, to me, Taoism literally means living in the dynamic tension, a synthesis of these opposites. Just like the yin-yang symbol, it's not yin and, or yin or yang, it's yin and yang. Um, the seeds of one are in the other. You can't have one without the other. So, to recognize that one is peaceful and competitive, that one is, or I'm sorry, cooperative and competitive, or that one is um, peaceful and violent, that you can be loving and lustful, that you can be greedy and generous, selfish and altruistic, that you have more of a parliament in your mind or in your psyche than a dictatorship where one personality or one aspect of yourself rules. So, it's, a tr it's not an easy life, I mean, you're trying to hold these opposites in one life and, and live in that tension. You don't have the comfort of just knowing what's absolutely right all the time. If you can just go to that black or white space, these things are all good, those things are all evil. I'm going to do the good and just do all the evil. The problem is the things that we call evil are um, out of balance aspects of ourselves. Uh, our violence, our sexuality, our greediness, our appetites, without any balance, without any buffer, yeah, they become, they become terrible scourges on the planet. But um, you can't just wish these things away. You can't be less violent just by saying so. Um, violence is hardwired into our genes as animals on the face of the earth. It is part of who we are. You cannot get rid of it. You are violent. But so is being peaceful. So is peace. That's encoded in our genes as well. We never would have gotten this far if we were 100% warlike and violent 24 hours a day. How would we raise our children? How would we create anything? How would we be, we, we, we be receptive? How would we solve problems if all we knew how to do was chop things in half? So we're violent, but we're also peaceful. You are competitive. You know, you are angry. You are greedy. You are selfish. You are lustful. You are all these things, but you're also their opposites. Those th other things are true as well. And if you can hang out in the, in, the, in the sort of dynamic tension between those two, you can allow the right aspect of yourself to meet the situation that you're in. Some situations call for violence, and some situations call for being peaceful. Some situations call for different things. If you, if you hold those opposites, you can respond with what's necessary. Whereas if you only, if you pick one, and, and try to push the other side away, obviously that dark side doesn't go away. Some of the most virtuous people talking end up doing some of the darkest and nastiest stuff for real because they're not dealing with that stuff. They're not accepting it. I, I believe Jung said, what I don't accept in my, about myself unconditionally splits off, becomes darker and more and more powerful. So you, you don't want to get rid of your dark side. Accept it. Balance it with your light side. Be like the yin and yang symbol. Be both. So more ands and less ors. When you're in the black or white, uh, the, you do have a relief from that tension. You have a relief from that uncertainty. But it's a relief that you pay for. 
because when you just block out that other side and, and you get that certainty, yes, you know absolutely what's right. Um, the problem is you're in a doomed, futile struggle with yourself. And I just don't think that's a winnable struggle. Um, now, I could be wrong, and there are people who think I am wrong and are doing the good fight, trying to be good and not bad, and they're trying to do all the white, light, good things and none of the bad things, and they want to discount that stuff and think that they can get rid of it by doing the good. And if that's possible, then, um, uh, then I think that's awesome. It might just be another path. For me, I've never seen it work, and I don't, I can't see it, I can't, I can't see it for myself. I, I, the path to peace and harmony and happiness and joy in my life has always come from accepting everything that is, not from trying to push away some part of it. But if that's your thing, if that's your karma, if that's what feels right, if you're, if you're going uh, uh, on, that, on that fight to be good and, and, to, and to get rid of the, the dark side of yourself, then I wish you luck, genuine, for real, for serious. I wish you luck with that. Um, but for those of us who are trying to go this route, um, I think it's a nice thing to think of and, and, blank and blank, not or, uh, and see if that doesn't make you a little more uh, relaxed, a little more balanced, a little more human, a little more joyful, a little more friendly, a little more tolerant, a little more accepting of things, and, and hopefully when it's your time to leave this earth, you'll be a little more, uh, a little more willing to go, because you'll be in touch with your animal self as well as your civilized human self. And uh, you'll be able to say, well, one lives in the other, they live in each other, my time has come, I've got to let go now. Um, and then uh, let my atoms be reorganized and reused by nature into, uh, into the next form. Because nature is pretty ruthless. It does not give a shit about the individual. It just crushes individual forms, one after another, in its endless march of balance trying to express itself. If nature cares about anything, as I look at it, it cares about itself, the oneness, the wholeness of everything. It does not care about individual forms. Ask a, uh, ask a dinosaur, or ask one of the uh, two generations of stars that had to be born and go through their entire star life cycle, explode, just to get enough heavy elements in the universe to make a planet. That took a couple generations of star births and deaths. So we're in an, an enormous process here. And nature seems to be always seeking that balance. So if you want to seek balance and be like nature in that sense, be like nature and include the opposites. Every animal you can think of has a violent side and a peaceful side. So uh, I say let them both live and learn to cooperate with them and do the appropriate thing. Don't be violent all the time or peaceful all the time. Uh, adapt to the situation and, and do the appropriate thing for you in each situation. That's what Tai Chi is about and what Taoism is about, at least to me. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit my website, jeanburnett.com. Have a nice day and see if you can do a little more and and a little less work.